And we're joined by uh, former local MP, Stephen Fuhr, among the unfortunate people to lose their homes in this fire. Yesterday, you had a chance to get in and see what remains. I can't imagine what that's like. Yeah, I guess what I was expecting was a maybe a burnt out carcass of a house, but uh, what we found was a com it was completely incinerated. Like there was literally nothing there. Uh, there. You could see the foundation, but everything had just kind of imploded on itself and just, it was just ash, everything was gone. So you pretty much knew that's what you were gonna see, but actually seeing it? Uh, well, you know, getting a little bit of a heads up was helpful. Yeah, seeing it was, it was a little bit emotional because you know, everything you own, like you're basically starting from scratch. And there's a lot of things in there that, you know, I'd collected over my flying career from different units I'd worked with, different airplanes that I'd flown, things that I just will never be able to replace. That was tough. Yeah. So just a few of you went out there on this particular tour and you brought along your insurance guy. I, I did. Well, the, my insurance company has been fantastic. They deployed people here, and I'm sure maybe other companies have done it as well, but mine, uh, travelers, deploy people here right away, and they've been here for well over a week. And I was told I could go and I could take a plus one or I could take someone with me, and um, I just asked him, hey, do you want to come out? Because they still haven't opened the site up, and he agreed. So we went out there together, and it just gave him a better idea of, I mean, it's always a better idea when you can see it with your own eyes and stuff. They've got pretty good resources. Like, they have some satellite capacity and they had the satellite go over the day after the fire so they could see you know what did it look like before the fire what it looked like after the fire but again once you go and see just how um, completely destroyed it is it, it's a different situation right so here you are one of about 200 um, homeowners facing this um, How's the process been in the early days of, of working towards replacing your house? Well, yeah, it's one step at a time. It can be overwhelming if uh, you just you know sit there and think of all the things at one time. But if you just kind of take in bite-sized chunks and, and you have you know really helpful uh, support, which I do. I had great community support. I had, uh, again, the insurance company's been fantastic. Um, some of the, like, you know, many people have contracts with the like, TELUS and Shaw and, and you know, BC Hydro and Fortis, and you got to go through and call all these companies up and tell, I got to give a shout out to TELUS has been just fantastic. They actually reached out to me and like a day or two after this happened and, and, you know, gave me a little gift card to Walmart to run out and get whatever I needed. So, I mean, just little things like that have been very helpful, but it's a, it's a big process. All right. So it sounds like the insurance element of it has been pretty smooth. I mean, hypothetically, you could start building next week according to your insurance. My, my, in my case, yes, I, I've got nothing but great things to say about travelers who was in my insurer and you know, the site's not open yet and it's a process. They got to get it opened. They got to get a, a machine in there to clean it up. Cause in my case, there's literally nothing. And I saw that firsthand. There literally is not one thing that's salvageable there. And then, you know, the, the, you know, you'll need permits and, you know, cleanup permits, you, you know, construction and all that kind of stuff. But the, in my case, the, the holdup's not going to be the insurance company. Right. And then, but there are permits, and uh, for um, a place like uh, you know West Kelowna or the regional district, there's probably going to be a lot of applications coming in at once. So that sure. that could wind up being the holdup. It it could be. I mean, I asked uh, when we went on this tour. The mayor of West Kelowna was there. The fire chief was there. The city planner was there. So that was one, some of the questions that I had was, you know, how how are they going to deal with these permits? And uh, you know, my specific question was, would they be looked at in in maybe an expedited fashion? And, you know, what I told is there'll be a separate, if I understand this correctly, a separate process. Um, and that process, if you go through the process, which makes sense, would be looked at on an expedited fashion. So I, I don't think, I think everyone that I've talked to about this from insurance to the city to, to everybody involved is really, really working hard to, to get us back into where we need to be. Right. So what do you imagine would be the time frame before you would have... A new home I think it's gonna be I mean I'd be guess, totally guessing here but you can't put a foundation in very easily in the winter and uh, I mean it can be done but I'm being told that that's not a great plan so nothing's gonna happen probably till March like you could do design and permitting and get everything ready to go but there's no physical anything gonna happen probably till March other than cleanup and it's you know to build a home here if you don't run into any snags at least a year probably um, so maybe 18 months would be the quickest it could be done. But then again, if, if there's a big call on labor and trades, 
because there's lots going on and we have our normal construction cycle plus you know 200 new or more 200 and whatever new places that need to go in on top of all that it might be tough to get you know sub trades and stuff like that so i, I don't know the answer i think yeah. 18 months is probably as fast as it can happen yeah that'd be your best case scenario probably best case scenario. so you've really jumped out of the blocks here to try to get things going have, have you picked up on anything that might sound like a tip to other families or individuals in this situation that that they should think about as they're trying to move forward yeah i did um for sure review your insurance i mean there's lots of different options out there there's lots of different coverages um, just make sure that you have what you need and make sure it's replacement that's going to be key um, run around your house once probably once a year and just take everyone's got a phone just take a video you don't have to open every drawer but just run around do a 360 in every room and just keep it and do that every year. It's right. not, it takes two seconds. Or I, actually, I had a three minute video because right. I had five minutes and I chose to get a video. So I soaked up three minutes of right. the five minutes to get the video. And it's really helpful when you go back to go through to replace the contents. And it also helps you when you're, you know, working with your insurance company to decide on, you know, what the finishings were like inside your home because that's going to really determine you know how much your home's going to cost to fix right or replace in my case yeah and and you had made a lot of upgrades to your home but there it all is it's you all can there. show the insurance company yeah. yeah all right yeah well best of luck moving forward let's hope you don't run into a lot of snags yeah thanks very much and thank you for watching Kelowna now